Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching from the book of Revelations chapter 10 and verse 3. I did a video on the angel coming down in Revelations 10 and 1, the mighty angel. And Revelations 10 and 3 says that he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. For the lion, in Revelations 5 and 5, we see that Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. You'll see it also in Hebrews 7, chapter 7 and verses 14. And you'll also see it in the Old Testament when Jacob is prophesying to his sons. You'll see it when he is prophesying to Judah. In the book of Genesis 49, verses 9, 10, and 11. For the seven thunders, they are the voice of God. You will see that in the book of Job, chapter 37, verses 4 and 5. Now for he uttered his voice. Jeremiah, chapter 25, and verse 30. Jeremiah says, The Lord shall roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. Psalms 132 in verses 13 says, The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. Second Chronicles 5 and 2 says the city of David is Zion. You'll see this also in Joel chapter 3 and verses 16. The Lord shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. You'll see it also again in the book of Amos chapter 1 and verse 2. Joel 2 and 17, I'm sorry, Joel 2 and 11. He says the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. His camp is great. You'll see his army in Daniel chapter 4 and verses 35, Isaiah 13 and verse 4, Revelations 19 and 14. Joel chapter 2 and verse 10 says, The earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Matthew 24 and 29, this is immediately after the tribulation. So John is seeing right immediately after the tribulation is over. He sees the return of Christ coming to the earth with his army. He hears him uttering his voice before his army. And his army is so great that the earth is quaking from the mighty army. Uh, Revelation 6, chapter 6 and verse 12 and 13 and... 16 and 17, verses 16 and 17, that is still in Revelation 6, uh, chapter 6, verses 16 and 17, we see that it is the wrath of the Lamb. So John had an amazing uh, revelation from God, didn't he? He was caught in the Spirit, and he saw the return of Christ uh, with his church, uh, with the everlasting covenant. He saw him coming down as the Lion of Judah, he saw Jesus uh, and all of his army, and he saw it immediately after the tribulation. And I'll do another video on the rest of this chapter because I have the revelation on the rest of this, but I thought it would be a little easier if I broke it down into pieces and made videos of it, and that way you didn't have to try to hear me quote a lot of scriptures and have to look a lot, so I'm breaking it down by piece by piece. And I believe that may help you and be a little easier for you to find all the scriptures. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. And I pray that no one is offended because I ask that no one mirror or copy my videos. And I do have my reasons for this. In 2011, I made a lot of warning videos. And when I left YouTube, those videos were still playing. And to this day... Uh, I'd like to be in control of my videos, but I do have other reasons for this that the Holy Spirit has given to me, and hopefully that later on you'll see uh, what I'm talking about when it starts happening out here in the world. Uh, but I'd like to thank each and every one of you, and I'm so blessed by all of the comments and all of the people that come to hear these videos and hear the teachings that the Holy Spirit has given to me. And let me do say this. 
I did not wake up one day and understood the revelations of God. I did not. I have been reading the Word of God. God called me when I was eight years old. And I have been reading this Word all of my life. But God did not start teaching me this Word until I was 30 years old. And I promise you now, I'm older than 50. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I received this revelation from the Holy Spirit of God. He speaks to me and brings that word to me. And even he reveals the scriptures to me. People always, I teach people in my home and they say, Well, i never known anybody that knew the word of God like you. No, no. I know the word of God. But, you know, you can know scriptures and not have the revelation knowledge. That comes from the Holy Spirit of God. And I am so truly thankful to God for sending me His Holy Spirit that leads me, teaches me, and guides me into all of His ways and all of His truths. But I am nothing. And let me tell you, the same thing that God does for me, He'll do for you. Because He loves you just as much as He loves me. God is no respecter of persons. He would love everyone to come to him. Let me tell you something my older brother said to me one day. He said, Donna, I just don't have the time to read my Bible. You know, I work and I do this and I'm busy. And when I come home, I try to read uh, for an hour or so. And then I start getting sleepy and go to sleep. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, Donna, when you love someone, when you truly love someone with all of your heart, they are the first thing on your mind in the morning. And all through the day, you will make that time to be with that person that you love. And before you go to sleep at night, that person is on your mind and in your heart before you go to sleep. He said, that is the way it must be with me. You must love me so much that you desire every day to be with me. And I do, people. I desire to be with God and to walk with Him from the morning I get up. I am so thankful because that day I did not wake myself up. God woke me up. He gave me another day of life. And for it, I am truly thankful. And I'm so thankful for all the gifts that God has given to me. Because, like I said, I'm not just saying that. I really am nothing. I, that's why my name is the Servant of God because that's all I am. And it doesn't make me great because I can hear the Spirit talking. The one that's doing the talking is the one that is great. And I always give the praise, the glory, and the honor to Him because it is because of Him I live and I move in Him and because of Him and because of my Lord Jesus Christ. And I would like to thank all of you, and I love you all. And I thank you for sharing with me, people. Share with me what God has given to them. And I am so blessed by hearing what God has done for you, too. May God bless you and keep you all. In Jesus Christ's most holy name.